watch and learn. So tonight, let's discuss how much money Sean Penn, or Connie, Conrad, must have paid for uh, his brother, played by Michael Douglas, his game in the movie The Game. It came out back in 96, I believe. And so I'm thinking to myself, I've seen this movie a bunch. Uh, David Fincher is totally on fire at this point. I mean, he's right around the corner from putting out Seven and then a couple of years off from putting out Fight Club. And the game fits right in among Fincher's best work and his most sort of, I don't know, most visually organized work as well. Because the other thing that I liked about the movie was how when Michael Douglas's character was in the, the security and the safety of his financially secure world, the colors were all sort of muted and they were very quiet. But once CRS had sort of pushed him into the real world, everything becomes very neon and everything's like like splashes of color being thrown in your face. Like what they do to his house when they, they spray paint it with all the, the glow-in-the-dark paint and that shit. But that's, we're not really here to talk about the movie. We're discussing how much money Sean Penn's character, his brother, um, probably paid for the game, the experience with uh, CRS, the company that provides games for, I'm guessing, rich people. So at the end of the movie, we do see a shot of the bill as uh, Sean Penn is signing for it. And I've paused it and they've got the, the, the bolded number at the bottom, which I'm, I'm guessing is the total. I can't exactly make out what it is. At a glance, I'd say it's a six figure number, but there is absolutely no way that even back in the mid nineties that a $999,999 bill would be anywhere near high enough for the experience that Douglas ended up having as the result of Sean Penn paying for this. I mean, if you, you take the fact that they have like assassins, af assassins after him, the, every single person he meets from the time that he is first in CRS's offices doing like the physical and everything. Every single person, sorry, he meets from that point forward outside of his like, the, the old dude who he's forcing into retirement and his lawyer and his ex-wife, I'm pretty sure. Everybody else is in on the game. And I also love that Linda Manns is in the movie. I love Linda Manns. She's not in it very much, but still makes it even more awesome that she makes an appearance. She's part of it too. So you gotta figure there's a couple hundred actors, all consummate professionals, you know, working actors. They're not exactly the Tom Cruises and the Brad Pitts of the world. So they're working actors who are just sort of like television people doing commercials and whatnot. But nonetheless, they're still incredibly gifted. You've got all sorts of like, when he's in uh, the chick, the blonde chick's apartment and the CRS kill team starts spraying the apartment with bullets. If they were shooting blanks, well then they have tiny little explosive charges all over her apartment. Which again, that's not cheap. You have to employ an effects team to put those things into place. I mean, you got Chibs driving the taxi into the water. Apparently there were divers down there looking out for Douglas when he was underwater had he not figured out to use the little window thing. I mean... I'm not even sure, you'd have to think, I mean, for a movie of this size, for somebody to experience a, a motion picture like this, you gotta figure what, five million? Six million? Something like that? I hear voices again and I'm alone. But anyways, doesn't matter. Is, how much money did Sean Penn's character pay? Does anybody have any idea how much money Sean Penn's character paid? Has there ever been anything put out in the world from Fincher and company sort of alluding to the amount of money that this would take in order to get something like this off the ground? Because I figure my number is five or six million. Didn't go on very long. It didn't, it, 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 I think Douglas was experiencing this for probably the better part of a week or two. So production wouldn't be that, it wouldn't be that big. But then at the same time, I don't know, judging by the room of actors at the end, there were a lot of people involved in this. So if anybody has any idea how much he paid, don't forget to put it in the comments. I would really appreciate it. This one has been bothering me since I saw this movie way back when. But yeah, so I am gonna go. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little over four and a half minutes while I attempted to hypothesize how much money Sean Penn paid for Michael Douglas's experience in the game. If you have any idea what that is, be sure to put it in the comments. You guys be sure to have an awesome night. I'm gonna go. See you around.